Hey guys, it's Dave. Welcome back to DGA Media. And in this video, we are checking out my microphone collection. Okay, so before we start this video, if you're new to the channel, on this channel we do audio reviews, camera reviews, tech reviews, tips, tricks, things like that. So if you're into that kind of stuff, please subscribe. Okay, so today we're looking at my microphone collection. Now, this is something that I have grown over the last three or four years. And um, these microphones have really led me where I am today. And I have a few people to thank, and I'll get to them when I get uh, further along. So the first mic we're gonna look at is this one right here. This is uh, actually my first microphone that I owned. Now, I got this probably about four years ago. And I got it for making basic YouTube videos, um, just doing basic voiceover. This is a Radio Shack USB and XLR mi dynamic microphone, um, meaning you have to hold it up right to your mouth for it to work. Um, but this is really how I started. Um, I used this on an iMac, that was the computer I was using at the time, and it worked great. This microphone is really good for vocals, it picks up a lot of bass, but doesn't have very much uh, trouble, uh, high pitch stuff, and is not very sensitive because it is a dy dynamic microphone. Now this microphone is no longer available because Radio Shack is going out of business and they also stopped making them well before they started going out of business so you can't get this anymore. But what you can get for something similar to this is something like the Shure SM57. It's a great handheld dynamic microphone, it's industry standard and you can get it for like 60 bucks. That might even be high so be sure to check that out if you're looking for something like this. Okay moving on to my next mic. This was a fully USB mic that I got from Audio-Technica. This is the ATR2500. This mic is wonderful. It's great for vocals. I still use it today for Skype calls, playing games, things like that. It is a fantastic mic. It even rivals this mic right up here, which I'll get to in a second. This was the upgrade from this one, but this is awesome. It has volume controls and a headphone jack so you can monitor in real time what you're hearing. There's no latency, so it's not annoying. Okay, next, this is the Audio-Technica ATR2035. This is a cardioid condenser microphone, and it is XLR, meaning that it requires phantom power. Now, a lot of people have the AT2020, which is the model below this. That one has an XLR and a USB version. This is the version above it. This is the 2035. This includes a low-cut filter, as well as a 10 decibel pad. This is amazing for vocals. I even use it in my professional recording for singers and uh, maybe even some drums. It is condenser, so you need uh, Fanta power, and you can get this for about $125. It is a fantastic mic, and uh, I definitely recommend it. Okay, all of these microphones we talked about so far are prosumer, meaning that they're at the high end of consumer, low end of professional. Now, I would really want to expand my freelance business. I knew I'd have to push more into a professional range, so I picked up these. These are the Behringer C2. These are a low cost stereo mic pair, meaning they're meant to be used two at the same time, one for left side, one for right side. And uh, these are my, I use these for about eight months and really loved them, got great audio coming out of them. And um, these actually are what led me to my current uh, driver, the Rode M5. Now I want to thank Rode for uh, shipping these over. These are fantastic and I enjoy using them so much. The audio quality is fantastic. Now you might be wondering, what's this for? So this is the Rode Link uh, uh, wireless system. This is Rode's wireless mic system. They have shipped over a few of these. These are fantastic. I use these for interviews and videos um, when I go out in the community. And I also use them a lot on this channel. I talked about these in my previous video. You can go check that out, link in the description. So that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at my mic collection. And uh, maybe this will give you some uh, ideas about what you, can, what you can get for your audio solutions. So if you guys like this video, please hit that like button, it really helps out the video. Hitting that dislike button tends to bury the video on YouTube, which is not really that great. And if you guys really enjoy what you see on this channel and want to see more, please hit that subscribe button. It makes the channel sustain longer and it is just a great thing when you guys subscribe. So that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you guys in the next video.